guys, what is going on? It's your boy Nick Santa back again with another video here on YouTube. Hope everybody's doing great. Do me a favor before we lock in. Tell somebody you love them because you never know what somebody is going through. Today, we are going to be kicking off this day with some gaming news because we did have a pretty big day today with the Pokemon Presents. And they basically talked for about, it was like about 30 minutes. My lunch, on my lunch. On my lunch. Let's say on my lunch, I was watching this. All right. I was watching this on my lunch at work. I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it, man. But before we do, if you guys can do me a favor, man, you guys want to see more gaming news or see more of me, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. It's easy. It's free to do. And it's fast. I kind of want to just style these videos like I did my Suicide Squad video that I'm going to put right here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, go on a rant, talk about things that I like that got announced and things that I could really care less for. But I'm just going to be spitting my raw opinion. So this is just how I feel. Just take my opinion with a grain of salt is all I'm going to say. The first thing we are going to talk about with the Pokemon Presents was the Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. I think a lot of people were excited of this, especially people that were liking Pokemon around my age. Because when the game first came out, we all remember the Venusaurs, the Charizards, the Blastoise of the game. So now they're going to be bringing back that old style of game with the old cards. It's going to have cards back back in the day that you could put into a deck and basically play against your friend. And I think this is very cool, especially for nostalgic old heads with like me and stuff like that. Just remember a uh, little Jimmy down the street who had Charizard or a uh, little Dev down the street with Blastoise and you know, Nick Tanner, the boy of Venusaur, big Venusaur in the chat. All right, big Venusaur is the man. Y'all better represent, all right? Where are my Venusaur's lovers at? Big Venusaur. And I think it's kind of cool that they're, uh, they're putting this into a game and it's gonna have the old cars, the old art style. It's gonna literally feel like base set cards are coming back again and i was i was very excited to see that they're gonna show a little bit more stuff around pokemon trading card game world championship so if i hear anything more i'll make sure that i report back to you guys on that but all we know is that is they're bringing back some older cards and they're gonna be in decks and i think it's kind of i think it's kind of cool man i think it's kind of cool that they're doing this the next thing that the pokemon presents show did show was an actual show say that three times fast show 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 they are bringing a new show on Netflix. Pokemon. God, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, bro. It's like Konzirge or Constant. I'm my fault. My fault, y'all. But they showed a little 25 second teaser of the show. And honestly, like, I don't know, like right now, if I'm completely on board with it. I don't know. The animation to me just doesn't seem like my style, but I'm willing to really give anything a chance. I mean, it looks good. And my boy Psyduck was on the screen. I love Psyduck. Why not, right? If you guys are into the Netflix show, make sure you guys check it out. But don't be sharing your passwords, all right? They're going to be on to us. They're going to be on to us. And we don't want that. <clears throat> Next for Pokemon news, if you guys do play Pokemon Unite, we are going to get a new character in the game. I haven't played Pokemon Unite in like a minute. I love Pokemon Unite, but to be honest with you, it's just, it's a hit or miss for me when I play. Like, I have really good fun times, but I feel like if you want to play ranked or competitive, you got to actually grind in ranked mode. And I just really haven't felt like doing that grind, but it's a fun, it's, I think, I think Pokemon Unite's dope. I won't be spending that money on like League of Legends or nothing. No offense to LOL players, but I'd rather play Unite. But we are going to get Zacian in Pokemon Unite. Looks like a very cool character. Not much to really say about him. He's a legendary. He looks dope. And I'm all for putting as many Pokemon as you can in Pokemon Unite. That's what's going to make the game grow. Just start putting Mons in there as fast as you can. And that, that will really get more people enticed when you got like 100 characters or something. So I'm cool with it. The next thing that Pokemon did add to the Pokemon Presents was Pokemon Cafe Remix. I'm sorry if you want to talk about that here. I will not be talking about <laughs> I will not be talking about Pokemon Cafe Remix. If you like it, you like it. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, but I'm going to be honest, man. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep it pushing off of that. They also added a bunch of new champions into Pokemon Masters if you play the mobile game. I haven't played the mobile game in a while. I think I played it for like literal two hours and it wasn't the best thing to me. But if you do like Pokemon Masters, you are going to get all these champions. I'm not going to say their names. I, to be honest, I think I can only name like a few of them. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's test it. Leia, uh, her name starts with a D. Steven, Cynthia. <sighs> Got me lost on her. And the last guy, yeah, dude, I'm like three for six, 50%. I call myself a Pokemon fan. That's actually pretty bad. Yikes. Uh, they are giving out a big login bonus too if you do log into the game. So if you're interested in picking up Pokemon Masters or just like you keep on playing it, make sure you guys log in. Now that we got that, all that stuff out of the way, we could get into some very interesting. We did get something 
pretty new and i think this is kind of left field for pokemon but i mean we all know pokemon they want to try and put pokemon into everybody's life any way possible they seem like they want to make sure that you're playing pokemon 24 7 so if you work eight hours a day it's like oh well you can play pokemon go on out in the go and you can catch pokemon and do pokestops so you can do that while you're out or and you're doing pokemon at home you could play the game and now it's like oh well how am i supposed to play pokemon when i'm sleeping they literally made a way for do that coming soon is we're getting pokemon sleep pokemon sleep is a game where basically helps you measure sleep but as you're sleeping you're leveling up pokemon the way that the description says it they basically want you to turn your sleep into entertainment so the way it works is the longer that you're sleeping is the higher score that you would get and to be honest i'd be very bad at this game i don't get a lot of sleep at all so but but anyways and then the more pokemon that you'll see around snorlax which is like the main mascot of the game the way that they showed it in the presents is that you have snorlax and then you have a bunch of pokemon that are around them sleeping so yeah it's new and it's coming in summer let me know if you guys are going, getting pokemon sleep pokemon sleep i mean it seems cool but I, I like to see pokemon trying new stuff though next getting into what they were talking about is we're getting the pokemon go plus plus i hate i okay hate is a tough word i do not like the name for this bro i don't know why i'm just like i'm picky but like Pokemon Go plus plus, it just doesn't it, it doesn't yeah off the yeah, off the tongue. Pokemon Go plus plus, it I I don't know. I know like I said it on Twitter and I was like I put Pokemon Go plus plus. I spelled out plus twice. I guess if you just put the plus, it's it's not. I don't know. I don't get it. But it's another way for you to catch Pokemon and you also link it with your sleep, so you're gonna be able to use it during Pokemon Sleep as well. So it's just gonna be something to add on, so you can do Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sleep at the same time. It's very small, something you could like put in your pocket. But like, to, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be real with you. If I'm out in public, I'm not pulling out a Pokeball this small the hoe's gonna love this it comes out july 14th no nothing on pricing yet or anything it, it, it may not seem like that i'm trying to sound super excited about everything that's coming out because i am super excited about everything that's coming out but it's just like yeah this is what's coming out how are we how are we feeling how are we feeling I'm a very big Pokemon fan, y'all, but when it comes to, like, certain things, I'm like, I don't know if I'd buy that. <laughs> like, I mean, it's cool for, like, I see what they're trying to do, but it's like, I don't know if I'd put my hardworking 40-hour-a-week money on it. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell you what I am going to be putting my money on. Guys, we are finally, finally, finally getting some Scarlet and Violet DLC. Yo, I saw this, and I was super, super excited. They leaked a little bit of some art, like some, uh, some trailer art or some, like, DLC art and it looked absolutely beautiful the little teaser they played for it was amazing i i love the vibe and i love the music that was playing and the art style we're getting two dlc parts kind of like how they did for sword and shield because when sword and shield came out you bought two dlcs and then you got one earlier in the year and then you got one a little bit later on uh they were about 20 bucks so i'm guessing it's probably going to be the same for this i think it was like 20 or 40 bucks. i, I want to say it was 20 bucks it was 20 bucks but i'm guessing we're going to get more Poked pokemon are going to be in the game the two dlcs are called the first one that is coming out in fall 2023 is called the teal mask the next one that we are getting is called the indigo disc which is going to be coming out in winter 2023 set for different release dates one in fall one for winter i'm excited for this i'm all for more pokemon content give me all the pokemon scarlet i'm all for the game bro like i that is like one of the dlcs i do not mind paying for because they always release new legendaries new pokemon and it's it's always great to just do like a little quick pokemon story as well like the story of the dlcs are never really that long and it's it's fun to do they also showed off three new pokemon uh okidogi monkidori and fizzin i'm pokemon names look i'm bad at pokemon names until they start releasing in the teal mask you'll meet these heroes of Kit kitakami of trio pokemon who protected the land in the past so you get these three mods i think they have like little like i think these things look cool me personally it's my boy right here Monkadori. that's the boy right there but i do love my birds though so maybe i'm maybe i'm on the edge for both of them i think they both look cool in the dlc in general i think it's just the whole dlc combined as what i'm taking is called the hidden treasure of area zero and then you get two parts to that so the first part is the teal mask and then the second one is the indigo disc i'm liking the vibes and it's coming out in 2023 both of them that's gonna be nice to round off the year for a pokemon for sure this is the pokemon they were showing off for the teal mask and and then this was the one that they were showing off for Indigo Disc. I like that one better. 
No, my fault. I like that one better. That guy's dope. I like his little mask. But cool. nothing against the turtle, though. All right, guys. Last but not least, I should have said this one before the DLC. We should have saved the DLC last, for, but, you know, we're not really... Sometimes we mess up on this channel. It, it, I'm human. I'm human. But we are going to get new Terra Raid events with two new Paradox Pokemon. The first one is going to be Walking Wake, which is Suicune Paradox. And then the other one is going to be called Iron Leaves, which is going to be Verizian. And I think both of these are super cool, but you know Team Scarlet coming out with the W on this one. The Suicune looks so dope. And I'm all for adding new new paradox pokemon the paradox pokemon was one of my favorite things when it came to the new game just seeing some of your favorite old pokemon getting different types and stuff like that but like walking wake he's that guy walking wake will have water as its terror type and iron leaves will have psychic as its terror type in this event it kicks off february 27th to sunday march 12th you guys have a lot of time to do these and then you can only capture one but you get a crap ton of items if you keep on doing the the raids and stuff like that so i suggest that you guys keep on doing the raids to get like all the items that come you get so much stuff that comes with it they should be fairly easy to do i love walking wake walking wakes a dog that just shows that pokemon scarlet eating right now because honestly iron leaves is kind of an l more like iron l but hey it don't matter because you know your boy got pokemon scarlet i'm ready to catch my walking wake that is it for the pokemon presents guys i just want to bring you guys this video because i want to start doing this stuff more where i let you guys know the news let you know what i like what i don't like my opinions on stuff it's gonna be a great video guys make sure you guys if you did enjoy leave a like make sure you guys sub to the channel if you want to never miss another video from me because i make great videos i make very good videos I promise you guys make sure uh make sure you guys leave a comment let me know what your guys favorite thing from the presents is and i'll catch you guys next time be safe tell someone you love them we're out later